Hello everyone and welcome back to another Luma video. In today's video I'm doing a devlog of Musical Synthesis 101 which is a website that aims to teach people start to finish for free how to use a synthesizer. So this is part of a research project that I'm doing for my university. Since I'm in university right now my uploads are going to be a lot less frequent. However updates to my website will be a lot more frequent because I am doing this for school. Um, so if you check this website every week or so, you'll see new things, um, hopefully learn something. First thing I want to say is this website is in its infancy. It's in its alpha stage. If there's information that's not entirely correct, if there's janky stuff going on on the website, that's going to be fixed eventually. Uh, and if you do see things that you want to make corrections or suggestions on, make sure to DM me on Discord. My DMs are open so I can see when people message me. Make sure to do that if you have a suggestion or a correction. Um, but for the most part, I think the information should be accurate as of now. Um, these are the sources that I have listed here. All of my pages will have the sources listed in the description, so if you want to do more research on your own, you can go ahead and do that. Then I also have uh, interactive animations. Pretty cool. You can see this is how sound moves through air in a kind of wave-like form. Like every synthesis page has an animation like this, but I thought might as well make my own. Uh, and then we also have like a demonstration for like sample right here. To be completely transparent, I use a lot of ChatGPT to write these. I do know how to write code, but I'm not very skilled with animation. So ChatGPT has been holding my hand quite a bit when making these. It still takes a little bit of knowledge on how to actually use code, especially for when there's bugs that are happening and you have to identify them fix them yourself or tell ChatGPT to fix them. But it's a very fast process. And my goal is to teach musical synthesis, not to flex my JavaScript knowledge. That's my reasoning and my kind of cope of why I decided to use AI to do a lot of this. All of the text itself is handwritten. I'm not using ChatGPT to uh, write any of the text. That's all research done by me. I feel like it wouldn't be really even worth doing this if it was all written by ChatGPT. My goal is to create something that I deem easy and fun to learn for the user, not something that a robot wrote. I just want to be completely transparent with all of that information because I know nowadays AI is kind of taking over some of these spaces. I'm going to flip through the rest of the pages that I have on my website here um, just to kind of show you what I have so far. This is a uh, 1.1 Can We See What We Hear? This one I had a lot of fun with. This is a recent thing that I added here. It creates these figures here um, that would be usually created by um, activating a, a brass plate with a bow or playing resonant frequencies through a metal plate with, uh, like salt or like in uh, Steve Mould's video couscous sand, things of that nature on a brass plate with frequencies that are resonating through it. I and mean, it creates interesting patterns. So this is just a little demonstration on how that looks. It's a little laggy though. I also have this, which just demonstrates how sine waves and cosine waves create a circle. You can speed up the animation here slow it down. Then we also have this little thing which shows you kind of how an oscilloscope works. And the waveform on the top here is accurate to the waveform on the bottom, which is pretty neat. So you can kind of just mess around with this stuff. Next we have the meter. This animation I think I might fix. It's a little janky. Also, I don't know what this is doing up here. Kind of see how a meter works. It even has the little uh, clip indicator here. You can turn the smoothing of, of the meter down or up. You can also adjust the speed. You also have some like interactive audio. I'm not gonna play these because they're kind of loud, but so I have like about oscilloscopes, little thing showing how phase um, can cause multiple sine waves to either enhance or diminish each other. You got harmonics and sine waves. This video by Posey is a very good video that I'd recommend checking out. It is about all sounds are made up of sine waves, which is like a bold statement to make and not in like entirely like accurate, but um, ultimately every sound is a composition of, of sine waves an infinite amount of sine waves. So like I said here, it's a bit of an overlook to state that L sounds are sine waves, but it's not technically incorrect. Next we have a little demonstration showing how sine waves combine together to make the wave shapes. So by default it makes a square wave. We turn this up, it creates a triangle wave, and it also adjusts the 
amplitude of those harmonics as well, but that's not stated here. This is more just to show that the phases and harmonics can create the shapes. We turn up the amplitude of the even harmonics, you can see more shapes appearing. And if we turn down the phase of odd harmonics, we can get a sawtooth wave. If we just turn the number of harmonics down to one, we get a sine wave. Pretty cool. And we have the shapes of sound. This goes over each shape. Um, and this is the website that I'm currently working on right now. So the triangle and square wave don't have any information on them. You know, like sine wave, sawtooth, whatever, has a little bit of information. And there's um, this little animation that you can mess around with, the amplitude and frequency of the waveforms. And then also you can modulate between the waveforms to see what they look like. So all of this stuff is like relatively basic in the grand scheme of synthesis. I plan on getting more into like frequency modulation, amplitude modulation in the 2.0 uh, series of the, the website. And that'll be more focused on actually synthesizers but there's some like basic knowledge you need to know before you get into creating sounds um so that's what this is kind of going through my goal with the animations is kind of to to visualize it in an intuitive way that's what i have so far like i said things will be updated and also things are incomplete so if you go to this website don't be confused if there's like something missing i hope you enjoyed the video kind of a short video for today just going over what i've created so far hit the subscribe button we hit 4,000 subscribers thank you guys for 4k i didn't even like make a video on it it was actually a, a, like a week or so ago that we hit 4k so that was really cool to see thank you hope you have a good day and i will see you in the next video whenever that gets made i guess bye